Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2. Today I'm going to once again be playing Artificer, the normal difficulty, and we're going to try to unlock one of these. I want I want more of the things for Artificer, so fully defeat the teleporter boss in a one second burst of damage is something we were very close to doing last time. We got to a point to where we would be able to kill 15 enemies before touching the ground, but then I died in that wave, like not wave, but in that like stage before I tried to do it and then kill a multi kill of 20 enemies. I don't quite think I was capable of doing it and then beat the game or obliterate on monsoon is not happening right now. I'm not playing monsoon difficulty yet, so we're not going to get the different color scheme. So we're going to go ahead and try artificer one more time. If we die prematurely, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop on someone else and unlock something else. I'm not certain what I'll unlock, but we're going to unlock something. We're unlocking something else today. That is like a given. It, it, it's happening. Oh, I cannot aim through my own wall. Okay, you know what? I only hit one of them, that's fine. Mocha. Mocha is fine. It's a good item. Attack speed and movement speed. Very welcome. Okay, so there's too many dudes here. That is a bad idea. Needle tick? Sure. You can fight each other, because the corrupted dude, the void dude, little parasite. Okay, there's the teleporter. Uh, we're not going to go over there yet. We've got a little bit of money we need to spend first. Still not doing anything with lunar items. I've got four lunar coins, though. Uh, I'm buying this healing drone, actually. I will take not having an item in exchange for this healing drone. The healing drones are actually really solid. Especially when I can buy another void cradle. Oh, can it repair 30 drones or turrets? Well, we unlocked something. <laughs> Ooh, Void Scent Flame. I really like Void Scent Flame. Full health enemies detonate on hit. Alright. Uh, do I want the brooch? Or do I want more attack speed? Attack speed does increase my charge rate for this. Ooh, that's satisfying. I need 25. Come on. Uh, I want the brooch. I want survivability. I have enough damage for now. Like, for this first floor, I've got the damage that I need. And we are burning. There's probably something else further back that way, actually. But I don't care. We are plenty strong. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and do the teleporter now. That brooch and the healing drone gives us enough survivability for this, so. Wandering Vagrant. Okay. Yikes. Gotcha. Okay. Doing all right. Ooh, what is that? It's the special drop from the Vagrant. I don't remember what it is. 
if I've gotten it at all. I know I went and I checked what all of them did when I picked up the little hunting rifle thing. Okay, what is this? Genesis loop. Find fire an eclectic nova at low health. No idea. I have to hit the low health threshold for that to do anything, but I'm not certain what it does. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. Just watching everything get hit. Okay, so we've got a few things up there we can go grab, and then we'll head on. Let's go. Ooh, equipment drone. Equipment drone. Equipment item. It's not the drone, it's just an item. Uh, centric boss? Create a quantum tunnel between two locations. What? Ooh, slug. I'm sorry, this does what now? Uh... Oh. Huh. I don't know how to aim it. Or how to place it, for that matter. I pressed Q like six times before it did anything. He's not going to hit that. Oh, no, he is. Never mind. That was a sound of death. If I ever did hear one. All right, let's go on. Let's leave. Don't know what the criteria is for that quantum tunnel. Oh, abandoned aqueduct. Well, I wish I was playing engineer right now so I could get the fire and ice bands. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Fancy. Let's go back. There's one button. Hold on. I can push up hot on the button. If I am quick... This pot does not want to move. Come on. Ah. Maybe I can move this one? Maybe it's just because I was moving it uphill. Yeah, that one moves. Nope. They blew up the pot. Damn it. It's too much AoE. I needed to hurry. But then there's a bunch of dudes. Okay. Uh, let's get this large little chest over here. I really want to move this over there. I just can't get it to move the direction I need. And it's gone. Better's instinct, sure. I will take it. Don't do very many crits, but we will eventually. Oh, what? Ow. Don't do that. Okay, Rose Buckler. That's not super useful. I'm not going to be sprinting all the lot whole lot, not all a lot. Man, I am terrible with words today. Let us see. Got 119. <laughs> I love when multiple things die from just one little shot. Yes. No, that's not going to kill him. 
Come on. I only got 56 money. I need 119. Letting y'all burn me to death. Okay. Uh, squid polyp. Okay. Sure. It's a terrible item, but sure. Ow. Let's grab this. Crowbar. Maybe it'd be decent if it was like the engineer's turrets and it got your items. Hunter's harpoon. I mean, they'll be there doing damage to things, but they've gotten no health. Like, that one's half dead in one hit. Like, they're not useless, but they're not good. Two of them are already dead. Not two of them are already dead. Is that using one per thing I interact with? Like time inter it is. Every interaction with that gave me one. That's amusing. Gimme. Yep, those give them to me too. Fireworks are nice. Also, their health just drains away. Propulsion armor plate. That'll be useful. Make us take less damage. I haven't done much exploring on the other side of the stage yet. Let's head on. So many of these damn elites. They never seem to pose a threat, they're just always there. Another crowbar. Getting more crowbars is going to be really nice for that uh, void scent flame hitting things. Because something gets hit and then it's going to do an explosion hurting everything around it and they're all going to take massive damage for that first hit and then they're all going to damage everything around them. Ooh, leeching seed. That's not super useful, but hey, every little bit helps. My healing drone's still full health. Almost wished the healing drone would heal the ooh, the little squid turrets, just so that one of them would <laughs> persist. But if it did that, I guarantee you, it would never heal me again. It would just always be healing them. Okay, uh, is there anything down here? Yes, there is. Squid turret, you can have fun down there. I wish that lasted longer. That burst of speed is too short. There's the teleporter. Alright. To our teleporter. I'm gonna grab this after I start the teleporter. Start it up. Oh, or there we go. I'm like, or it's not gonna let me. Ow. Did 
There's just so many of you. Why? There we go. Get rid of all you motherfuckers. This is not ideal. Come on. Nope, it shot it way too far away. It's almost dead. There we go, got it. Okay, that was a nightmare. There was just way too many of those stupid beetle guards. What is this? Oh, there's the monster. T Honestly, I didn't pick up the item from this chest because there were so many beetle guards. I wish I had. Mired urn. Siphon health from nearby enemies while in combat. Oh, yeah, that's the one that I chose to go for when I got the thing, I think. Let's go. What do we got here in our bazaar between time? Wax quail and headset. Um, honestly, I don't care about my white items enough. I do want a wax quail. Losing goat hoof kind of sucks. Crowbar's fine, and I didn't care about the other thing that it took. So we're good. Okay, uh, do I want... Do I want to take that? Hmm. It's tempting. No. Uh, I don't know if the corpse bloom's any good. What are you? Essence of Heresy. Okay. And Light Flex Pauldron. Okay. Transcendence is very tempting. Very tempting. No. We will pass. Oh wait, hold on. I could force myself onto Rally Point Delta, but I'm 15 minutes in, so I wouldn't be able to get the thing. I need to try to unlock that. The uh, fucking, what's it called? You know what I'm talking about. I don't remember the name of it. The thing on Rally Point Delta in the ch time chest. Sulfur pools. Hello. I spawned on top of the sulfur turret, dude. Ow. Uh, crit glasses and a repulsion armor plate. I do not know which of those I would prefer. I like burning the burning elites. So many turrets on this stage, Jesus. Uh, do I want a tougher times print? I'll get one. I lose my mocha. Fine. I just want one of them. I don't want them enough to print them. But I will take one. Another monster tooth. I just traded that away. I don't want you. Like, it's not terrible, but I don't want it. I'd like to trade away the squid polyp, that's for sure. Come on. Uh, let's get the extra health, actually. Most things heal on a percentage, so more health will help. Honestly, I think that'll do more for my healing than the fucking monster tooth will. I could get my crowbar back. If I want. 
I'm good, but I could. Uh, let's get the glasses. Open that. Ooh, broken watch. Okay, well now we definitely need the healing. We need to keep ourselves high. Uh. No, I'm gonna keep it. There's not a single white item I have at this point that I don't want. Cause I need that extra healing now. I don't use my freaking portal thing. Gnarled Wood Sprite. Sure. If I remember correctly, just holding this means I'll be healing. You sends it to an ally, but it doesn't. Ah, I use it to heal, maybe. I don't know. It's healing little sevens. Does it go away after some amount of time? No, it looks like it just lasts forever. Okay. Cool, so we've just got constant little seven ticks of healing. I'll take those. Oh, I also siphon health from nearby enemies, that's right. We've got a lot of healing right now. Ooh, backup magazine. Thank you. I like that he hit me, like, once. His aim is so good. He is the best at aiming. See, there's the mocha that I lost. Thank you. God, I wish that lasted slightly longer. It lasts for one second, from the looks of it. A one-second burst of speed is not enough. I know just getting another one increases the duration. Ooh, ATG. We didn't need the damage, but I will take the damage. Alright, we're about to have like a million squid polyps in one area. And we are out of money. Okay, never mind. We've got three of them. Squid turrets. Alright, we got money. Oh. You gained nothing. I gained a squid turret. That's what I gained. I wouldn't consider that a victorious positioning. Just having another squid turret. But we have it. We also have a wax quail, which is really nice for mobility. You know, eventually I'll make use of my levitate. I never use it. Granted, I haven't been jumping off very many cliffs lately. I don't think I would consider myself strong enough to kill things from up here. Okay. There we go. There's an item. Energy drink. Okay. Our sprint speed has gone up. Teleporters inside the cave. Interesting. Interesting. That's an odd place for it to be. Fungus, key, and mystery item. I want the mystery. Nope. I did not mean for that to hit there. There we go. Let's grab the mystery. I'm not going to stand still for the fungus medkit. I will gladly take that, actually. That is more healing every time I get hit. So anytime I would need the healing, I will have a little tiny heal coming. We still have our healing drone at full health, mind you. It's 289. It's an equipment. Oh, it's the freaking base again. Um, good. Oh. I shot a thing thinking it was gonna hurt me, but it was just a corpse laying on the ground. Hey, at least it's better to be trigger happy than stand there and get hit by things. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Play Dune Strider again. Oh, 
Why do you spawn so many of these dudes? I'll never understand that. I like that I am siphoning health off of the Clay Dune Strider. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, great. I did not notice that. Okay, I don't know where the second one is. It's up top, it looks like. Okay. Well then, let's head on up. Uh, let's head on up in a different direction, because that way is a dead end. Oh, there's a tunnel here. I forgot about that. There is an item in the tunnel. Okay, we gotta go back for that. He took a tiny bit of damage. Yeah, I heal a lot. God damn it. Fuck. I was trying to run away. I still wanted to damage it, but I was trying to run away, which was not working. It was pulling me in too hard. Well, we are now considerably weaker than we were because the watch just broke. That's annoying. What's even more annoying about it is we, like, we passed the threshold for the watch to break. And then we just immediately healed up a lot. Oh, well. If we get another watch, we'll be Gucci. Because we're just going to siphon all the health away. Where's the what on earth is shooting at me? I didn't know you could be on the ceiling. Okay. Stun grenade. Okay. Don't need that, but I'll take it. Uh, we're good. It might come in handy. Uh, does multiple of the urn increase the amount that I siphon from things? Or does it increase speed of the siphon? I don't know what it does. I don't know what multiple of them does. All I know is I have a Frickin' Titan in my face. He also has a lot of health, and I don't have the damage to deal with it. That is bad. Okay. Titan down. Uh, that is horrifying. I don't, I don't know what I think about a void. Um. Elder Lemurian. Tri-tip, that's another needle tick for me. Another energy drink. Need 193 to open that again. Oh no. I don't know what I think about a void Elder Lemurian right now. I think it's gonna fucking get me killed. Jesus. No, thank you. Squid turrets. Protect me. Another teddy bear. Okay. I had another item I could have gotten. I only got one item from that uh, chant shrine last time. They're drawing aggro, so they are actually protecting me. There's my mocha back that I traded away way at the beginning, effectively. Because we gained one back, so now we have two again. So we traded one away, immediately got another to replace it, but I want two. Two is nice. Uh, teleporter now? No. That's a bad idea. Just going, clearing the void, and using the teleporter immediately is a bad idea. face.
I know it does more damage when I charge it, so I need to remember to charge it at times when I don't think I'll do enough damage to things. Ow. I think he hit me. I think that's what the problem was there. Oh, we got him. Uh, how much is the chest? It is 32.68. Okay. We're more than halfway there. We cleared the void seed. I don't know where it is, but we cleared it. So I guess we can go find it. Well, there's 2300. Oh, it's over here. Cool. Give me my squid. Give me... Oh. Pentabobble. Sure. Chance to root things. That is fine by me. We have a lot of healing. Jesus. And Lysit Cell adds an extra charge of my special, which is really nice, because I think that means I can just damn near always be using that. How long's the cooldown? Seven seconds, right? And it lasts for a few seconds? I think I might actually be able to just use that at all times. Like, literally any time I want to use my special, I think I can use it now. So that's really nice. If I get a third one, I know I can literally just always be using it. Yeah, if we mix in the amount of, like, me throwing in basically anything else, I can just throw this up whenever I want it. Hold on. That's gonna be really nice. Okay, we've got the money we need. Oop. Let's head on over here. Give me... Why do I keep walking around that giant pillar? Give me the alien head. That's what I want. That's not alien head. That's symbiotic scorpion. Permanently reduce armor on hit. Ooh, yes. Well, now uh, anything that has a lot of health is just easier to kill. Because every hit's going to weaken them. Yeah. Every hit we do will weaken the enemies, make them easier and easier and easier to kill. Uh, can I get up this? Yes, I can. Does that affect the burning? Does the, will I burn them for more damage if they have less armor? Another crowbar, Jesus. We're doing more and more damage when they have high health, and more and more damage the longer the fight goes on. Ooh. I'm not going to be using that. I don't think. So, let's grab this. Go the wisp. I don't know if that increases the range or if it increases the damage. Either way. It is much appreciated. Is that a healing drone? Missile drone. I want another healing drone. It's the only drone I would consider worth it. There we go. There's a healing drone. Gimme. Why am I so slow? There we go. Another repulsion armor plate. I don't want the freaking roll of pennies. Ooh. Sure. What do you give me? Elder Lemurians. That's a bad idea. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm like, they can use the springboard thing. I know they can. We got him. I think one of them's still alive. Oh no, two of them are.
There we go. I heard the dude. I should probably go fight him. The little brass contraption dude that's behind me. We're getting printers that I don't tend to care about. Where's the teleporter? I don't remember. Oh, right here. Hello. Uh, there might actually be something way up top. Imp Overlord. That's not fun. Ow. Yep. That is very nice. We got another ATG. I will gladly take that. Our ATGs are going to do even more damage. At this point, I just want more and more damage. The more damage I get, the sooner I'll be able to kill something in a single burst of damage. Oh, the music radiates from this little dome. Interesting. I can't hit that. We got slow fall, but... Can't hit these stupid brass contraptions. There we go. Ninety-two percent. Uh, we're almost done in here. Oh, hello. Okay, so let's go up to the very top. I don't know where the nearest thing is to go up. Healing drone, gimme. Oh, here's where all my stuff was hiding. Jesus. Uh, tri-tip dagger printer. Ooh. Uh, Harvester Scythe, please. Give me that. I probably should have taken the Fuel Cell, actually. I would have had a third charge, but I really want this. Is that a healing drone? No, it's a healing chest. Okay. So I was not hallucinating the little healing icon. That's for sure. Okay, we're gonna go across the chain. Let's grab this first. Missile drone. I don't want a missile drone. I don't know where the little springboard to get up there is. Nope. Well. That worked wonderfully. Where am I going? Yeah. Fungus. Thanks. Where's a scrapper to get rid of the fungus? I don't want this. Literally useless item. There it is. I mean, I guess technically it could be useful if I get the thing for... Uh, corrupting it. But... Even then, I don't sprint enough. Oh, that's what it's doing. I'm like, what is with these circles? It's targeting my drones to throw the wood sprite to. Which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to keep my constant seven ticks of healing. Primordial teleporter aligns with the moon? Sure. I don't need to loop. I'd like to see what this end boss is. I haven't done that yet. I planned to do it last time I ran Artificer, but I... I died on this stage. Oh, God. 
there is a parent. Come on. Give me more things to kill before I touch down. We're gonna keep floating in the air. I just need things to kill. I guess technically I could kill the rocks. But I don't think that'll count. Another brass contraption. enough things. Ow. There's enough things now. After I'm not in the air. The more things there are around me, the faster I heal, which is kind of hilarious. Because I can just keep hitting things. And so I'll start doing more and more crits. And the more crits I do, and the more damage in general I do the more I heal, because every hit heals me and every crit heals me. Ow. Okay. We have 7,200 frickin' dollars. That is... Way more than I need. What the fuck? Oh. That's what that does. I just realized what that was. That's the second time I've done that, that now. When I hit low health, I trigger the freaking Wandering Vagrant explosion. Okay. That's actually hilarious. Okay, uh, what equipments do you have? I will buy one just to get it unlocked if I don't already have it. Oh, I could do that. Blast shower. I don't know what that is. Let's take it. What are you? Lens all negative effects. Uh, I'm good. I'll take my wood spray. Oh, they do heal the polyps. Oh. I didn't think they would. You were out of range for my attacks. There we go. Thank you. I want my items. Give them to me. Goat hoof. God, we have so much money. I don't think I need anywhere near this much. Hey, we got the watch back. Unfortunately, if... Oh, never mind. We hit low health, we'll just heal it back instantly. Um, I was saying that in order for us to trigger the... Vagrant explosion, we have to go low enough for the watch to break. But now we can have the Vagrant explosion trigger and heal. Uh, that. Give it to me. I don't care about my healing. Well, now I have a choice. Because now if I loop, I can just get every item in existence, and I think I can get all of my unlocks. I think I can get my multi-kill, the teleporter boss speed kill, and the killing enemies wall air, like before touching ground, while in the air. Like, all in one go. I think I can do that using this. I just need to not die on this floor, and we'll be good. Uh, where's some items I can buy? I don't know. 
Oh, I can buy that. Sure. Forgive me, please. Throw a cursed doll repeatedly triggering on kill effects. Huh. Interesting. And that triggers every single time I buy something because it'll restore a portion of the money that I spent. And in addition to restoring a portion of the money that I spent, multi-shops do not close. Uh, we're going to align with the planet. Actually, we're going to loot. I was going to align with the moon and just go ahead and fight whatever this end boss is, but I think I want to loop around because I want to unlock the different things. And I haven't unlocked anything for Artificer. I unlocked the backup, but the backup is not... Or artifice, or the backups uh, equipment that spawns like 50 fucking turrets. Not turrets, uh, drones. It's 10, I believe. I think it spawns 10 drones. Ooh, hello. Oh, weeping fungus. Well, now the bustling fungus is no longer useless. Uh, repulsion armor plate printer. And now we heal while sprinting. Not bad. Uh, there's enough things spawning. I might be able to do the airborne kill thing. Ow. Break my legs. Yeah, I think I might be able to do it now. Give me some things to kill. Those are some things I can kill. Got him. Come on, give me more things to kill. Hey, kill 15 enemies before touching the ground. We got it. All right, there's orbital, orbital bombardment done. That is one new upgrade for Artificer. Well, not necessarily an upgrade. It's an unlock. I'm hoping it's an upgrade, but I don't actually know. God damn it. I tried to kill the freaking leech thing, the parasite. It grabbed onto the next enemy before I could. Oh, hello. Hello, parent. Okay. Let us... Find the tele... Hi! You just love teleporting around. Okay, we have less healing. Oh, let's go down here, actually. There might be an item. There's money. There's an item. There's a utility chest. Be a red alien head. That's what I want. Uh, no, it's an energy drink. Fine. I want it to be a red, specifically alien head, but that is fine. Ooh, healing drone. I'll take it. Ooh, another harvester site. I will gladly take that. They heal 16 now? On a critical hit? I don't actually know. I don't do enough crits to be able to tell. Yeah, I see the little, like, threshold where things will just die instantly. Alright. Where is... Did I buy that? No, I didn't. Gimme. Another monster tooth. I don't need that. Probably the item I want the least of what I have. I've got two of them right now? Yeah, I've got two. I need to find a scrapper so I can get rid of them. 
I could also get rid of the key, but I could also just use the key and it'll go away. Where is... I don't I don't know this stage very well. I don't know where the teleporter is on it. Oh, a potion printer. That's tempting. I have one already, though. I don't think I need more than one right now. Where on earth is this teleporter at? Let's go up. See if I can spot it. There it is. I found it. I'm just blind. I can never see this damn thing. Trigger the teleporter. Grandparent. Oof. That's a lot of damage, Jesus. Okay, and grandparent is dead. And we got a fuel cell for our troubles. Which means this now has three charges. We can just flamethrower for days. I don't know what was more of a threat, the Elder Lemurians or that one brass contraption? I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not know which was more of a threat to me. Hate brass contraptions. It's not even the damage they do or their attack patterns or anything. It's just the way they move around in the air. Makes them annoying to aim at. Hello, parent. Goodbye, parent. Let's go. Oh, we almost got a level up. Not quite. Let us loop. Distant Roost. I hate this stage so much. Uh, let's see. That is a Titan. Once again. I wish it was an elite so it would just die. So much sooner. Alright, there's a thousand dollars. We can buy our items now. Another crowbar. The more crowbars we get, the closer we're getting to killing the teleporter boss very quickly. Ooh, shipping request form. That'll be really nice. Because we can get both of those items for free. How much for that? 1138. flamethrower him to death. Yeah, there we go. That screen shake's actually kind of irritating when he dies. Okay, let's grab this large chest. Another leeching seed. How many of those do we have? I don't even know. I can't find it on the list. Two. Okay. Uh, you know what? Buy that, just cause. Nothing else down here. Okay. Come on. Give me my thing. Thank you. Another mocha. I will take that. Gladly. Okay. 
We're just gonna grab all the things. Ooh. I will gladly take that. I don't know where my free item is, though. So far, we haven't gotten to make much use of our little credit card dude. Seeing as we've only encountered a single multi-shop. And it was the one that gave it to us. Hold your armor plate printer. It really wants me to print those. Another tougher times. get enough attack speed, I could consistently fully charge my secondary. Right now, I only fully charge it if I want the extra damage, but I'd be able to do it every single time if I got enough attack speed. Ooh. That's actually really nice. Because I want to be near enemies. Just so I can siphon their health. I wonder if that does more damage when I siphon their health, too. Like, will the siphoning do more damage as well? What are you? Infusion printer. I don't have a scrapper to give me control over what I lose. I don't care about the Old War stealth kit, but I do like literally everything else that I have. Like all my other green items, so I don't want to lose that. If I can find a scrapper, I'll get rid of the stealth kit. And none of the scrappers that I've encountered thus far would have helped me here, because I didn't get the stealth kit until just recently. Hold up. Oh, I missed this. Another med kit? Sure. Just more healing. Ow. That was stupid of me. I have no reason to be doing that. Oh. I didn't even realize it was taking health to buy. And then my potion was gone. Also, I just lost my damage because I... processed that that's what that took from me after I went and I bought the other ones. I thought it was taking money, not health. Well, that's annoying. Now we have another broken watch. Which is just really annoying. We do more damage to things that are close to us, at least, so it's fine. Also, this is piercing. What did we get? Wax quail. Okay. I don't need two of those, but I'll take them. There's not really any harm in having two of them. I just don't need two of them. Part of me wants to just buy one infusion. Because I'll kill enough enemies where it'll take effect at a pretty reasonable amount of time, and that extra 100 health could be really useful have a lot of damage. I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy one infusion. What do I lose? I lost one of my ATGs. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right. Our health bar turns red, too. Forgot about that. Yeah, we can get an extra 100 health. And since most healing is percentage-based, that just means we get stronger in terms of our healing rate. Let's go. We've already gained a 
Nice little chunk of health. Ow. That hurt. Okay. I need to play smarter here. Hello. You remind me of the dudes from RuneScape that throw the little rings. Gorg's Opus. You and your allies enter a frenzy. Don't know what that frenzy is. We're in it, though. Another key. I never found my lockbox. Thousand. Nope. 778. Oh, God. Thanks for the burst of speed right as I jump. You just launched me off the fucking map. Nope. That was satisfying. Oh, we got another power elixir. It's fine. Hello, blind vermin. You can fuck right off. I hate you guys so much. Ooh, crit glasses. That is just really good. In addition to that causing me to do more crits, that's also going to be an attack speed increase generally because I'm going to be getting predatory instincts triggering more often. And it is a healing increase because of the harvester scythes that I have. I believe there's two of them. Yeah, two. Yeah, that charges really fast. Oh, you're an elite. That's annoying. Okay. I just got really excited when I saw the multi shop. I just bought all the things on it immediately. Uh, there's my shipping request form. Tougher times and... Stun grenade. Nope. Uh, okay. I'll take that. That'll be really good for killing a teleporter boss. I'll loot. I'll eat loot, sorry. I'll loot and a freaking A second one of it, because we got the ukulele. Wow, you have a lot of health. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I can basically just pull out the flamethrower literally whenever I want. Wow, things just die so fast. Okay, uh, what are you? Gore's Tome Printer. Do I need Gore's Tome? It would make it faster to get the money to buy all of the items. Medkit printer. I don't need a medkit printer. Oh, there's the thing. Ooh, it's red. What are you? Ben's raincoat. Prevent debuffs instead of ga instead gaining temporary barrier. Okay. That'll actually be really nice. Uh, I'll buy one. I lost my other ATG. I no longer have an ATG. Wow, that actually really hurt. Of all the items to lose, it was... The second ATG. You could have taken the second Leeching Seed, or the second Wax Quail, or the Old War Stealth Kit, but instead you took my second ATG. It's fine. 
We'll survive, I guess. Uh, I don't want the freaking roll of pennies. Buy that. There's the teleporter. Armor piercing rounds, that'll be good for killing the teleporter boss. Okay, so I don't think I finished the chant shrine. I think I still have one item in it. No, I did finish the chant shrine. Okay. And I just don't pay attention to things. Well, we already established I don't do that. I didn't realize something was taking my health until it had killed both of my, like, things that break at low health. It was the potion breaking that made me realize it, but I recognized that it, the potion broke as I was buying the other one, and then the watch broke. Yes, another multi-shot. I love buying all three of the items at the same time. It's just so satisfying. Okay. I think that's everything. Hold on. Is there something up here? No. Okay. Let us go. Can make it over. I was worried I wouldn't be able to, but no, I can. Easily. Three wandering vagrants. They're yeah, definitely not getting those in a single burst of fucking damage. One more. Wow, I do a lot of damage. Jesus. Another leeching seed. Guess what I did not want. Third leeching seed. That's right. You know what I would like? Uh, Nirkana's opinion. I would like that. There's just so many of these things up here. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. Okay. Did we take that 105 with us? 159. Cool. Rally point delta. Contact flight, survivor camp. We didn't a portal open. Celestial orb appears. No. Okay. We've got it this time. We can obliterate if we want. 1067 for the chest. Little pearl thing. 726. Hello, Raider Wisp. They have lesser wisps and greater wisps. Where's an average wisp? Okay. Ah, there's a little cold. I forgot there's cold versions of the blind vermin. God, you have so much health. You're an elite, so you'll die at a certain point. I need another one of the freaking things, though. I'm down to one healing drone. All my healing drones keep dying. Jesus! It literally gave me nothing. Is that a healing drone? It is. I'll take it. Okay. 
There we go. What about this chest? Give me an item. Thank you. So this freaking chant shrine failed like five times. Armor piercing rounds. Good. I need those. I'm gonna kill the teleporter boss in a single, like, burst of damage. I need armor piercing. Oh, hello. I don't like you. Gotcha. Your Ignite effects deal quadruple damage. That's really good. I just innately have the ability to do that. I just ignite things. I believe both with my primary and my special. I believe I ignite things. So that's really good. As is, I don't have money for all three. Damn it. I do. Another crowbar. How many crowbars do I have now? Six. And those stack forever. I know that. I'll just always benefit from more crowbars. Uh, there is another armor plate printer. Jesus. Another stun grenade. Give me a freaking scrapper so I can get rid of these stun grenades. I don't want the stun grenades. They're like the last thing that I want. Roach printer. Man, I don't want the war banners either. I'm not going to be leveling up very much anymore. I want to trade in my war banners, my shield generator, my stun grenades. At this rate, these keys. No, I don't want any equipment. So there's a tri-tip printer. With my needle tick, that'd be really cool. Just print a bunch of needle ticks. Is there a scrapper around? There's one of those. Tougher times printer. Another mocha. Take it. Attack speed is damage, so. Ooh, another infusion. Now that is really good. We're starting to get to a point where things are going to start actually being a threat to me. Like, a serious threat. And so having more health will be really good. Oh, there's the lockbox. I did not see this before. Ooh, another shipping request form. So the stuff at the delivery will be more powerful now. Nothing in there. Another printer. Brooch printer. Wasn't there already a brooch printer? Isn't that two brooch printers on this stage? Copper Times printer. God, there's just so many printers. It's freaking 140 damage burns. Ow. Blade Dunestriders are too spread out. There's no way in hell I'm going to kill all of them in a single burst of damage. You can siphon off of each other if you want. It's hilarious to watch you do. Oh, God. Or a multi-kill of 20 enemies. We lost our freaking potion, though. Which is kind of horrifying. That we just got punched that hard. But there's the 20 kill. 
little multi-kill things. Now we just need <laughs> another mired urn. Okay, I'm checking what this does as soon as this teleporter's done. I'm checking what it does to pick up multiple of them. Because I want to know what having three of those is doing for me. That one of them wasn't... Oh, there's multiple things up there. Wow. That burst of, like, everything dying like that from the... Oh, it's the Vagrant Explosion. That's what did the multi-kill. Oh, that's so satisfying. I actually really like that. And then the the explosion, because it killed so many things, it gave me so much um, a barrier that I basically had full health again. Okay, there's stuff up here that I didn't get. There's more than the one thing, so I don't know what it is. So I know I didn't get that. Ah, little chest up here. I missed this. Armor piercing rounds, that would have been helpful for the boss, but okay. Okay, I'm going to, real quick, we're going to check what the mired urn does with multiples. Mired urn. So it does... Enemies will be tethered to me, dealing 100% damage per second, so it does my damage every second, and it will heal me the same amount of damage dealt. And every extra stack adds one more tether. Oh, so it does actually grab multiple enemies. I thought it just grabbed the one. So by default, it does. So I have three of them, so I can tether three things at a time. Ooh. That's really nice. I'm not obliterating. I'm just keep going. I haven't gotten the killing the teleporter boss in a single burst of damage. The only one I've got left. Let's go. Siren's Call. I haven't done the secret thing on Siren's Call yet. I know there's a secret thing here. I don't know how to do it, though. I also don't have money for that chest. There is a worm. That is not good. The worm can kill me. I know it can. I've died to the worm before. Staying out of that. Ooh. That's really good for me. Oh, and we are now down here. Out of range of the Vagrant Explosion. Funny. 25 health, another key. Uh, Shatter Spleen. I don't know what that is. And I don't think I want to trade my Mired Urns for it. The boss item. Ooh, more crit. How many crit glasses do we have? Another stealth kit. I don't want that. We have... So you've got the innate 1% crit chance. We've got 10% from the two harvest... Well, sorry, from the Harvester Scythe and the Predatories. I don't think the 5% from the Scythe stacks with itself. So it's just 10% from those. That puts us at 11. And then we've got three glasses. So 41% crit chance. You are a void enemy. I can tell from your health bar. Oh, God. Sent a little seeking freaking thing at me. Oh, there's a void seat on this stage. I didn't even notice. I can't reach you from there. You're too far away. 
Oh, Shrine of the Mountain. That's probably going to end poorly. Watch it be Clay Dune Striders again. Shrine of the Mountain, Clay Dune Striders at this stage when there's like three of them at a time. By default. Actually, it was like five of them. Oh, God. Imagine double Mountain Shrine right now. With Clay Dune Striders. I don't want the freaking Monster Tooths either. That's another thing I need to get rid of. Give me a Scrapper. These aren't Scrappers. I take fall damage just jumping down a hill. Nope. Okay, well there's the Void Seed. Found it. There's eight things up there that I need to kill though. The whirring grows loud. I did something. It was an accident, but I did it. Alloy worship unit. Oh. I spawned the secret thing. Entirely by accident, but I did. What the fuck? The alloy worship unit shot me like five times in one go. So I didn't even get to do my vagrant explosion. I was just dead. Wow. Okay then. We got mechanic, which I didn't really care about. And then we got orbital bombardment and massacre. We didn't get the third one. We got two of them, which is good. Better than nothing. Um, okay, so we've got two new unlocks for Artificers. So we've got the normal Flame Bolt, which ignites things, and a Fire Bolt for 280% damage. And then now we have Plasma Bolt, which does 280% damage as well, and it explodes in a small area. So this one lights them on fire, and this one explodes... This one already does an AoE, so I'm guessing this one just is like a big AoE. Okay. We'll have to try it out. And then we've got Flamethrower, which is also igniting things. Yeah, so both of those ignite things. So I thought. It'll burn all enemies for 2,000% damage. And then Ion Surge. This stuns, and you'll burst into the sky, dealing 800% damage. Hmm. Let's load in real quick and see what both of these do. All right, let's see. Ooh. That's actually really cool. It does damage to the things that you like run away from in that little burst. And overall is a drastic reduction of your damage output, but it does put you way up in the air away from danger. That's actually really cool. And then the plasma bolt want to hit some things. Yeah, it's got that little... Yeah, I can hit things from slightly further away with that. I think I like igniting more. The little plasma bolt. It's cool, I guess. But... Eh. I, it's it feels really unsatisfying to use so we will not bother with that but ion surge might be useful there might be times where i want to use that instead yeah let's make sure i'm set to flame bolt and for now flamethrower that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all later.